Hey folks, Eddie here from Wilderness Twins um, and Highland, Highland Glen Rabbitry. I like to say that now. Uh, but the Wilderness Twins. Um, so I mentioned when I did my last video that um, same as all rabbit trees uh, and all animals, you know, farms all across the world, they're deluged with flies. You know, and I showed you that I had that fly bug thing, the sticky stuff for catching flies um, that I got from the local TSC. Um, but I had um, already a fly trap down um, on the outside of the fly, and I'm making, I wanted to make a couple. Um, I just made one, but my camera went on the fritz. I uh, didn't have internal memory, which I'm actually using. My camera I'm actually using is my phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note, Note 4. So it's absolutely wonderful camera. Love it to death. So I don't have to carry, if I want to do my YouTube videos now, I don't have to carry my um, camera around, my Sony around anymore. I've just got my, my Samsung. Love it. But side note. So I'm going to make a quick trap um, that, to show you, how, and a very effective trap. I'll show you how to do this. So all I need, pop bottle, duct tape, scissors, I'll give you a knife to drill a hole, um, and then some bait. So first things first, I'll do the hole, which I always carry obviously my wallet, and there's a part of my EDC, which is also at the bottom of the my pouch beside my wallet, is my, um, my knife. My Swiss Army knife, or Victory Knox, whatever you want to call them nowadays. So get the awl, and just poke a hole, and drill it out, which is perfect. So any small, a small hole, because then a blue bottle, or any of the bottles, will get into that, no problem at all. So I'll close that off, and I'll just trim off the, the inside, because it always leaves I'll say the inside, I'm going to show you, but you can't see it. So, I will trim this off with a small, small blade. It's just the bits that are left over on the inside. That's cleaned that up nicely. So, it only has to be a, a small hole. You can, I suppose, take off the bottle, but it gives them less chance to be able to get out if you take, if you take the cap off or leave the cap on so pop bottle any pop bottle will do um, cheap pop bottles that have just got straight edges are actually much easier um, this sprite one's not bad um, coke bottles with the, the fluted ends is a pain in the arse to, to try and get them so all we need to do is cut around the top you'll see there's a seam So I'll put that there, and I'll just spin that round on the seam. So pull that off, tail bit. So all that will do is go in upside down to make a funnel on the inside. So that's uh, an easy way of doing it. But then we've got to get bait. Also put the, the lid back on, because that's going to go on the inside. We're going to be able to put that on afterwards. So for bait, it's just a tin of cat food. So you can use, you know, leftover meat or something like that. But so if you're culling a rabbit, um, and the next time you want to keep some some flesh, instead of buying, you know, buck twenty-five for a can of, can of cat food, which will just go into the freezer, um, just use it for this. Peel this off and use this as a a spoon and just dump it in there. And it's, I use tuna, which stinks. I hate tin tuna anyway, but cat food's even worse. And if you want, pour in some of the oil. Put that down. And then put this upside down. Put it in gently. Poke it in. And then you'll use, and forgive me for sweat, because it's been like, with the humidex, it's been like 40 degrees today. 
Um, sun's starting to go down. Oh, excuse me. And a breeze is up, and it is so nice out here just now. Oh my god. So, duct tape. You can use anything, any sort of tape whatsoever. But duct tape is always around in my place. And then just, it doesn't matter if it's over, you're just gonna tuck it, tuck that back down. And then go around and make sure it's all secure. One other tip I would say, you can put it upside down like that, um, but they've got to get in there and then they're trying to find it. Whereas if you tip it horizontally, it's automatically they're going to come in here, just walk straight in, and it's easier for them to get in. Um, I found when I did my first trap, I kept it upright, and it was catching some, but there's still a lot. Um, put it to the side, and wow, it worked big time. And I'll just show you how good it works. This is one from last week. That's absolutely chock a block. I don't know if you can actually see that, I'll bring that up close. But that's absolutely chock a box. Thousands of flies in there. So it works. So a couple of these in your um, into your rabbit tree, down beside where your um, the base of your rabbit cages. And this is gonna take care because this is gonna smell stronger than the rabbit food. So thanks very much for watching guys. And I hope you if you've got your rabbits out in the outside. Oh, there's somebody walking out. Little kid. Um, but if you've got rabbits or any any animals outside and they're getting bothered by flies um, and this heat, because obviously the heat and the humidity is um, driving the flies absolutely crazy. So, great, great fly trap. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. This is Eddie from Wilderness Twins. Please keep watching. Please subscribe and comment. You know, I love it when you guys are watching it, but please comment. It would be nice to know what you're thinking. What you can see is something beneficial, or just tell us that we're idiots, if you want. I don't take it personally. Um, so, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye now.